the product of all the rational roots of this equation we have to find out. So the equation is x square minus 9x plus 11 the whole square minus when you open this bracket it will be x square minus 9x plus 20 and you can bring this 3 on LHS. So minus 3 is equal to 0. So this is by quadratic equation of degree 4 but we can convert this into quadratic. It's convertible to quadratic equation. So what we can do here is we can assume x square minus 9x plus 11 equal to t so that this term can be t square. You can go with x square minus 9x itself as t also. That is fine. So when you're considering this as t, the first term will be t square. Then this term you can break 20 as 9 plus 11. So it will be rather 11 plus 9. So this will be t plus 9. So t square minus t plus 9 minus 3 is equal to 0. So it will be t square minus t minus 12 is equal to 0, which is a quadratic in t and you can easily solve it. It will be 4 and negative 3. But we need the product of all the rational roots of the equation. And original variable is x. So you have to go back to x. x square minus 9x plus 11, which is t, is now equal to 4 or negative 3. So by this way, you will get a 2 quadratic and we have to check which one will have rational roots. So first one is x square minus 9x plus 7 equal to 0. And the second one is x square minus 9x plus 14 equal to 0. So in this case, we can easily find the roots 2 and 7 and both are rational. In this case, roots will be minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this is not a perfect s square. So it is not a rational roots. This root is not rational. So we have to go for product of all the rational roots. So product of 2 and 7 is 14. We could get product of roots from here itself by c by a, but we have to check whether it is rational or not. So that is why we first find the roots. So answer is given as a 14 and yes, we are also getting the same answer.